What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. Um, okay, so fairly recently I got an email from Uber that was informing me how to deal with drunk passengers, intoxicated passengers. I'm sure you guys all got the same email, right? I'm not even going to read it. I'm not going to go through it. it. It's very generic and, and really not all that helpful. Uh, try to stay positive and upbeat and energetic and, you know, you're going to take drunk passengers. Unless you work like day shift only, then I guess your your chances of getting an intoxicated passenger are pretty slim. But um, for the majority of us, we're going to deal with intoxicated passengers. And the best thing to do, honestly, is just try to stay polite, try to stay professional. Um, you don't want to come across as aggressive. I've heard a lot of people say you've got to dominate. Well, you know, um, there is a time and a place to be dominant, but at the same time, you should focus on de-escalating a bad situation. Okay, if you've got one of those passengers that's aggressive and in a bad mood and, and, and confrontational, you don't want to push that. I mean, unless you just feel like getting into a brawl, I mean, then that's your choice, I guess. But, you know, I think we should really focus on trying to de-escalate the situation, keep things calm, keep things peaceful. Uh, at least that's the way I prefer to do it. So sometimes that means taking a more submissive role, even if you're not uh, submissive by nature. So, you know, try to stay polite, try to stay positive. I, I wouldn't get too energetic with it, but, you know, try to have polite conversation. And if the conversation is taking a turn towards something that's causing an issue, maybe change the subject, okay? And worst case scenario, guys, listen to me on this. This is probably the most important way to deal with an intoxicated passenger. If at any time, any time, you have so much as a gut instinct. It doesn't even have to be anything going wrong. If you get a gut instinct that something is wrong or that this is a dangerous trip, you don't have to take it. And if you've already accepted it and you're on a run and it becomes that way, guys, I know you don't want to get out of your car and leave your car, but listen to me. Your life, your health is more important than your vehicle. Okay, you've obviously you've got a smartphone. Okay, you have you have a device. You can call the police. If things get too bad, pull over, take your keys out of the car, and leave. Call the police. Have the police remove the gentleman or the female from the vehicle. It's not that complicated. I understand you don't want to leave your car behind, but you know a car is a really confined space, and things can go really bad. You know things can get really nasty. This is not something that's happened to me. Um, I haven't had anything really scary or terrifying. I've never had to get out of my car or leave it behind, anything like that. But if it comes down to it, you can always ask the passenger to leave the car, exit the vehicle. If they refuse to exit the vehicle, you can call the police. Or, you know what, if they're that intoxicated, just drive to a police station. You know, drive to the nearest police department, get out of the car, walk in and tell them you've got a, a drunk passenger in your car that's causing you a problem and you want him out and they'll remove them for you. That's my advice, okay? Keep things calm, try to keep it simple, try to uh, change the conversation if it's going in a bad direction, but if you try and try and you just can't settle the situation down, tell the passenger to leave. If you won't leave, then you get out of your car and call the police, or drive to the nearest police station, and let them deal with it. That's my advice, guys. Um, if you have anything to add, you think, you know, maybe there's something I forgot, feel free, comment below. You know, I'm always up for good advice because this is here to help all the new drivers and even some seasoned drivers that, you know, maybe haven't experienced some of these situations yet. So comment below and, and help people out, guys. Uh, jump in here and join us. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there and Uber on.